Hello there guys, Brian here at 3TR and I'm here to give you my review of Elysium. Now this movie was directed by the director of District 9, Neil Blockhamp, and in terms of overall plot, basically all you need to know is that it takes place in the future in which the world has suffered a number of real serious problems to the point where the privileged have gone off to this little space station area in like I wouldn't say orbit, but maybe a little bit further called Elysium. And this is basically where all the rich and privileged people live. And people like you and me who aren't as rich are stuck here on Earth to really deal with all these major issues. And Matt Damon's character plays as an average guy who's just trying to get by and live his own life. However, he suffers a rather serious accident at his job and realizes that he is going to die in a number of days. And the only way to save himself is to really attach himself to this I'd like to say, not an endoskeleton, but just kind of like a, I'll, I'll say a bodysuit attachment, which kind of gives him a number of super abilities. I'm not going to say which ones in general, but he now has to fight his way in order to get, to find some way in order to get to Elysium to save himself. And while this is going along, Jodie Foster's character kind of plays as this high-ranking representative of Elysium, and there's some type of conspiracy going along, and she activates this agent called Kruger in order to set uh, events in motion so that things will happen. And that's all I really want to say in terms of overall plot, because you really need to see this for yourself. What I really liked about Elysium is that uh, outside of most like late summer blockbuster films, this is a movie that actually has a real life message which really relates to a lot of the issues that we face today in terms of overpopulation, health care, and so many other political views. And it's kind of a foreshadowing that if we keep going in the direction that we are going now with our lives and really the whole perspective of the, how things are in the United States, that things could actually get this bad. And a message like that is very powerful. And so just for the message is a great reason to see this movie. Another thing I really liked about this movie is the overall look. The cinematography is absolutely stunning. I would even say on some level this movie even looks better than Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. And we all know that he is a very visual director and this man just in many ways to top that. Many action scenes and set pieces are filmed in ways that you really get to see a lot of the action and it's in some action scenes, it's actually filmed in a way that I personally have never quite seen done that way and holds a very lasting impression. Now, I would like to state this right now, and I feel really bad that I do not know this actor's name, but I do know that he was the main lead in District 9, and he also played Murdoch in the A-Team, but the guy that played the character Kruger, holy hell, he has got to be probably one of the most badass villains I have seen this entire year. I would even dare say he was a far more memorable character than Michael Shannon Zod and the Man of Steel because he, he some will say he kind of has an over the top um, kind of uh, presentation but his character was done in, in such a way that he clearly is the most standout performance in this whole film and it stays with it. It's like if there's anything I'm going to remember next to the whole overall political message that Elysium has, it's going to be this character. And any scene that he has with Matt Damon, he clearly outshadows him, overshadows him. And that was something I didn't see coming because I didn't even know much about this actor to begin with. But I, after seeing this movie, I am absolutely going to, as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to go back and watch District 9 because I have yet to see that movie. But after seeing this, I have to go check this movie out. If there was any main problems that I had with it was, it wasn't really a main problem, but it was a bit of an issue, was that they felt the need to tack on some type of love story. And I personally didn't buy it, simply because it felt like they wanted to add more to the reason why Matt Damon's character needed to get to Elysium, and I was perfectly fine with the original explanation. You don't need to add in more exposition for why this character needs to go to Elysium. I'm perfectly fine with the original explanation, and you just don't need to add anything on. And the fact that they added things on, it kind of slowed the movie down at parts, but not really enough to hurt the overall film. That is why, without further ado, I'm happy to give Elysium a solid A-. It does have a couple of maybe 
you know, camera issues with certain action scenes. I didn't really particularly like the addition of the kind of side love story, but overall, definitely check this out. I'm even going to see it a second time just to see if I miss any of anything the first time. And if you like this movie review, please like, comment down below, and please subscribe to track me in my future movie and video game reviews. And like always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.